Hey guys, Steve here with Belt of Truth Ministries. I'm here with Dr. Mark Laser, director of Faithful and True and author of 10 books, including his groundbreaking book, Healing the Wounds of Sexual Addiction, and also the three book Men of Valor series. And uh, Dr. Laser, if I could ask you, what's the one piece of advice you'd give to someone struggling with pornography addiction? Well, you know, I, I, I've been thinking about this and uh, it's really kind of hard to narrow it down, but Primarily, the average guy that's struggling with pornography addiction is struggling with it in silence. So, in other words, they're not telling anyone if they're married. They're certainly not telling their wives if, you know, they're not married. They really never probably talk to anybody about this. So, it, you know, if I had to narrow it down to one piece of advice, I'd simply say get honest and get get uh, honest early. The earlier you can get honest, uh, the sooner you'll find the help and community you need to to get yourself free from this problem. Most of us, you know, grew up and uh, we started looking at porn somewhere in our childhood, adolescence. Uh, we didn't have anybody to talk to. Our fathers or mothers weren't generally talking to us. The church wasn't talking to us about this kind of stuff. So we just kind of learned to keep it to ourselves. Now, we may have been teasing each other about it at school or someplace like that, but we certainly weren't having intelligent or helpful conversations about it. So uh, we kind of learned to stuff this. And uh, I would say the one piece of advice is find someone that you can talk to who at least understands enough about this, you know, to direct you to, you know, more help. And one of the things to think about when you start getting honest is that, you know, you'll find a lot more community. And, you know, I think one of the main ways out of pornography or any other form of sexual addiction is to be involved in Christian community, men who share the same values that you do, the same vision that you do, the same sense of God's commandments that you do, so that they can be um, encouragers. I think another thing people don't understand about getting honest is that I think when you get honest with community, you're going to want people to hold you accountable to the things you want not to do, but also uh, they're encouragers. They're going to be people who push you toward your vision of you know what is healthy. So that's you know getting honest because I've always said that the greatest enemy of sexual health is silence I think that's great advice I, I agree fully uh, thank you for sharing that with us and tell people where they can find out more about you online sure uh, we have a website here uh, it's uh, faithful and true faithful and true dot com and all of our books resources uh, we have a weekly radio podcast, you know, that kind of thing. So if you want to, you know, find out more about that or any of our programs, just go to that website. Okay, great. Well, thanks again, Dr. Laser. Appreciate your time and uh, good luck in your ministry. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Thank you.